Boy, howdy, I confused you with the last video, didn't I? I was talking about chapter 12, and I said, enjoy it. Enjoy chapter 13. And I was really talking about chapter 12. It's pretty bad when that happens. I'm getting old. It's getting late. And I'm still drinking the caramel protein stuff that I've been thinking has been butterscotch for the last three years. Oh, well. Uh, chapter 13, though, is about direct price discrimination. We're going to talk about why price is discriminant. We're going to talk about direct price discrimination. We're going to talk about the Robinson-Patman Act and the impact on the act. Uh, we'll talk about imp Im implementing price discrimination schemes. And we'll talk about uh, only schmucks pay retail. Have you ever heard that? Some of your economics professors will tell you never pay retail for anything. Whenever you go to a store, even if it's Walmart, they want 58 cents for a can of green beans, argue with them. Get it down to 57 cents. Because Lord knows you're going to spend 30 minutes trying to talk this clown into lowering the price of green beans by a penny. And in the end, he's going to say, take it or leave it, dude. It's 58 cents. So, I have seen people do that at Walmart. I don't believe in it. I believe if it's a fair price, then it's a fair price. However, send me to a garage sale, I'm not paying what, it's, what their little piece of masking tape has on it. Then we're talking some fun times. eBay auctions. Yeah. All right, so... We're going to talk about price discrimination. That's all in chapter 13. Uh, price discrimination is the practice of charging different people or different groups different prices uh, that are not cost justified. It's discrimination. Hmm, discrimination. Uh, typically more people are served under price discrimination than under a uniform price. Uh, we're going to talk about arbitrage and uh, the fact that it can defeat price discrimination schemes enough uh, of those who purchase at the lower prices to resell at the high value consumers. And this can, can, uh, this can force the seller to go back to a uniform price. Arbitrage. Buy it for a little, sell it for a lot. You gotta love it. So that, all of that is covered in chapter 13, and now I'm not going to tell you to go ahead and enjoy chapter 14 like I did on 12, telling you to enjoy 13 when I was really talking about 12. So enjoy chapter 13 and learn a lot about price and price discrimination. And we'll see you again soon for chapter 14. Coming up next.